So I've just found something pretty insane using Canva and DALI infographics. So first of all, we need an infographic. So make me an infographic about business attire for men. This is cutting edge stuff, guys. No one is really talking about this apart from me, from what I've seen. And yesterday I made this video showing just how good the quality of the infographics are. But in today's video, I'm going to show you something even more interesting which is how we can take this and turn it into an actual infographic. It's now possible to make infographics probably in under three minutes, whereas previously it would probably take people an hour, if not more, or it would cost, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars for a VA to do it. Now we can basically just make our own infographics pretty much easily. Now, when I made the video yesterday, I didn't know what I'm about to show you was even possible. Um, yeah, this is this is just absolutely crazy. So it's using Canva, and I believe you do need the paid version, the premium version of Canva. If you don't get it, if you don't have it, you can. I'm pretty sure you can do this with a free trial. So just get a free trial and just make a load of infographics for free. So let us pick one of these up. All of these are absolutely fantastic quality, but the writing, as usual, isn't great. So let's just find the one that we like the most and that has kind of the easiest writing here. So let's take something. They're all really, really good. I, I don't like them as much as the ones yesterday, but they are still really, really good. I'm just going to show you what's possible. So I'm just going to pick uh, a random one of these. So yeah, we'll pick this one. Like, why is there an eye here? What am I supposed to do? So it's to change your eye color for this, apparently. So let's import this file. Just like I showed yesterday and then use in a new design and then custom size and then create. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say, so which photo was it? It was the one with the eye. So for the third photo, can you give me all of the text in order starting at the top left and going down to the bottom left then to the right etc someone told me i was saying etc et incorrectly the other day apparently so anyway once we're here i'm going to click on apps and this is where it gets super super interesting sorry not apps yeah, it's not on apps, it's on edit photo. So click on edit photo right here and then look at this, grab text. Who knew this was possible? Because I sure as hell did not. What this is going to do is, it's, yeah, super, super interesting. But first, let me see if this is correct. Is the text from the third infographic, starting from the top left and decoding business attire. Okay, yeah. Casual. Where does casual go? Out here, okay, bottom left, yeah. Simple shirt, cargo pants. Yeah, not really, but okay. So yeah, you might have to think of the text yourselves here, but yeah, basically you can now edit this text, which is insane. This is crazy, look at this. So you can move this a little bit to put it on, which is amazing already. And then we could write like, um, these all say casual, this is formal. I wouldn't really say briefcase is casual, but that's fine. So uh, briefcase is great for work. I don't know. Add a hat if you're feeling good. <laughs> uh, look at this. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. But sometimes it's not going to work, so it hasn't actually worked here. I can't select this text which is kind of annoying, but in general, you can select all the text now and change it. It's just, this one's messed up a little bit. What I'd probably do here then is I'd probably erase this like this. I'll just get rid of this. And then that should just delete that bit of text right there. Let's just get rid of that as well. Just because why not? Let's be perfectionists for once. So yeah, Canva's really up their game here. That is super, super useful. And then we can just copy this, for example, and then we can drag this over here. I don't know how it does this. This is amazing. But um, classic pressed dress shirt. 
uh but let's say um not neutral color so light color darker colored um shirt for more casual event i don't know sure why not uh something casual casual um uh sporty casual i don't know i'm just making things up for the video but you you get the idea this is this is just changing everything you have no idea this is what we've been waiting for to be able to make our own infographics in a timely um timely manner this would be um this is also just formal to be honest with you it doesn't have to have a different name they're both formal it's just one of them they're just different colored types of formal so one is blue pinstripe and one is brown obviously it helps knowing about the niche of course obviously to be able to do this you do kind of need to know about the niche a little bit uh classic lapel suits with tie uh cargo slacks or or pants are great change your eye color question mark uh match colors color wheel wheel with an h obviously so yeah i i cannot get over this i really can't um let's just try a few more things here can you make the infographics less um illustrated and make them a bit more 3d so if you're curious as well i am working on something right now which is this custom instruction i will leave this in the description of this video if i remember just in case people want to play with it but basically what it does is it writes an entire article but before it writes the article it creates an infographic it creates tables it creates markdown tables it creates an outline for the article and it asks you for internal links and it asks you for a keyword and then it writes the article and it puts the these images already inside it doesn't quite work yet um something is missing from it but yeah it's it's super super easy to use i was going to make a different video about it i might still make a different mini video about it but if you want to know how this works basically you say hello and i will leave this custom instruction uh in the video sorry i forgot to turn it on so in the description, you can find this custom instruction if you want to use it. Wow, that is super amazing. Wow, just wow, just wow. I love it. Absolutely, I love it. Incredible. This just opens up so many opportunities for me writing for two men. Um, I just, I cannot wait. It's, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's just say hello to this. And it's going to say, let's get started. Please provide a keyword. So business, casual attire for men. So obviously here's one I prepared earlier. Again, if you're curious how I do these things, um, it's kind of complicated to show all these things in one video, but I basically have a link scraper. So if I click on brands here and then let's get rid of the pop-up, click on brands. These are my important pages. So click on scraper links. This then copies all of the links on that page, and then I just clean them a little bit. Again, it's really, really hard to talk about all these things in one video, and I know that some people get confused, but people who watch all my videos will know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so now we just press enter here, and it's going to take these, and it's going to make an outline for us. I will leave a link as well to this bookmark alert, which is how I just did the, the scraping of my website. All you do is you go to bookmark manager here and then you need to add a new bookmark and you just need to paste this information here into the url and then give it a name like link scraper and then once you press that it will just basically take every link on the page so i could also do it here for example and it would do the same thing that's how i get all of my internal links i think this is the fastest way to do it right now so now we can see we have everything. We have an outline for an article with internal links ready to go. And we have some infographics here as well. Again, like I just showed you, I could very, very easily edit any of the text on this page. This is a really good one because there's not really any, um, any text, which is amazing. 
like for example where it says drong here now we know that with canva premium we can just change that in one second this is just changing everything guys i really hope that people are along for the ride here can i'm gonna say um yes here even though i don't like the markdown table here i'd rather it was a bit longer i'm just gonna say yes and it will start writing so yeah, that's basically my current workflow for writing articles. I A lot of people are asking me why I'm not using Bing. This is now the main reason that I'm not using Bing because this is just better. Now this infographic specifically, I probably wouldn't use just because it's talking about brands, but these, although they look like they could be Cesare Attalini, for example, this um, could also look like it. It might get me in trouble, so I would just stay clear of something like that. Something like this is very, very inoffensive. There's no problem here although i can't really see the 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 difference they all look like they're from the same year to be honest with you this one here is perfect this is a beautiful infographic and yeah it's it's doing everything but you do have to still download these as png so just click here and give it a new name let's say continue here and it will just keep writing and it has all the internal links everything is correct everything is beautiful and yeah I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really wanted to just release this video. I know I released the video very recently, but I just thought this was so important because, yeah, yesterday when I released that video, I didn't realize that Canva could do that, but now I do realize that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very, very soon with some more content.